Thank you so much. I really appreciate being here. Good afternoon, Chair Nathanson, Vice Chair Spam and Reschke, and members of the committee. For the record, I am Janine Solomon, the State Senator for Senate District 15, which includes the areas of Force Grove, Cornelius Banks, North Plains, Hillsboro, and Aloha Beaverton in Western Washington County. I come to you today in support of House Bill 4097 and sincerely appreciate this bipartisan and bicameral support. Oregonians from all corners of the state rely on volunteer firefighters to respond to traffic accidents, house fires, brush fires, wildfires that are becoming more frequent, and many other events that happen outside our city limits in some of our most rural areas of the state. Now, I know this all too well because I grew up, grew up in rural West, um, Western Washington County in Gales Creek. My parents ran the Gales Creek Mercantile and my dad retired from the Navy, was one of the 12 founding members in September of 1972 of the Gales Creek Volunteer Fire Department. Next year, we'll actually be celebrating a 50 year celebration. The 12 members consisted of farmers, the retired and the current working class men across the li living in the area. When we heard the siren ring loudly across our small town, we knew that our brave volunteers were being called to action. Middle of the day or middle of the night, they responded. And while many districts and departments are able to reimburse volunteers for direct costs like gas, they surely cannot cover the missed family events and the risks that they take to help our neighbors. President Courtney uh, paid tribute to a fallen fi volunteer firefighter on the Senate floor, a tra tragic loss to the St. Paul community. Now a modest $1,000 tax credit won't provide compensation for the sacrifices that our volunteer firefighters make, but it will hopefully help encourage current volunteers to continue their service and potentially attract new ones. It is exciting that there are now actually two new female volunteers being trained at the Gales Creek Station. Some volunteer firefighters utilize this extensive and intense training and experience as a means to climbing the career ladder. Our rural communities benefit most from their service. This tax credit is a mere drop in the fire bucket. Colleagues, I encourage your support of House Bill 40, 4097. Thank you.